When we talk about building healthy communities, we usually think of preventing crime, getting exercise, and having access to state-of-the-art healthcare facilities. But medical emergencies, like sudden cardiac arrest, can happen anywhere, anytime, to anyone. And for many, it's devastating. In my life, um, I unfortunately uh, had to face the tragedy of losing my husband to a heart attack. And I had little children, and, and I was pregnant. And for me, it's probably the most devastating thing that I will ever face in my lifetime. Cardiac arrest is a big problem in this country. It strikes over 350,000 people, and most people die. The average survival rate remains dismal, only about 5% in most communities. And that hasn't changed in the last 50 years of doing CPR in this country. It's a horrible statistic despite advancements in cardiac technology. If a person goes into sudden cardiac arrest, they're doing CPR, waiting for EMS to respond, precious minutes are ticking by. And we know that from studies, the heart is more responsive to defibrillation in the first few minutes following a sudden cardiac arrest. That's why at Alina Hospitals and Clinics, we are doing something about SCA. It's called Heart Safe Communities. Heart Safe Communities has been around for more than a decade, and we've now placed over 1,500 AEDs in places where people live, work, and play. And it's working, especially in places like Apple Valley, Minnesota. Our business community understands more and more how it's making sense, because in some of our, well, in a major grocery store, there was a gentleman who had a heart attack, and there was an AED, and there was someone in the grocery store who was able to use that AED, and that person is alive today as a result of it. With sudden cardiac arrest striking more than 300,000 people each year in this country, the reason for heart safe communities is clear. To give a patient the best chance for survival from sudden cardiac arrest, we need everything in place from bystander CPR to EMS to the hospital. And an AED is a critical link in bystander response. Alina is partnering with community groups and first responders to educate citizens about cardiac arrest, teaching CPR, and installing portable defibrillators in high traffic community places. New Brighton was one of the first to embrace the program and it's paying off. And what really initiated it is in the city of New Brighton, we have very strong, cohesive neighborhoods. It's a very strong community. They look out for each other. They're always looking for better ways to take care of the public safety in, in the city of New Brighton. You think these devices are too complicated? Gene Johnson would disagree. 9-11-2002, I went into sudden cardiac arrest right here in my home in the front yard. And there were five magical things that had to happen in five minutes. And they all did. The first thing was the phone rang and uh, alerted my wife. My daughter called. They called 911. 911 worked. So the chain of survival is working. The police officer was here quickly. They were on hand with an AED, and it worked. The ambulance arrived, got me to Unity. Everything in the chain worked. The, the doctors at Unity were there and ready. It's a wonderful thing. I'm saved, and I'm alive. Using an AED is probably one of the most simple things we can do. Um, you know, right now we're also technology oriented that an AED is probably the easiest thing you'll ever do. Anywhere, anytime, to anybody. First responders and paramedics are on their way, but the success of resuscitation drops about 10% each minute. So knowing what to do is a matter of life and death. CPR is really easy, put your hands in the center of the chest, pump hard and fast at the beat of 100 times a minute, and if you got to remember the tempo, that's the same tempo as the Bee Gees song, Staying Alive, so if you can remember that song, you can do correct CPR. We hope you can see how important it is to have these portable defibrillators and proper CPR education. See that your community has them located in first responder vehicles, schools, churches, and businesses. AEDs are easy to install, and AEDs save lives. Using an AED is a simple, easy thing to do. That AEDs need to be wherever people live, work, and play. And if you are ever in a situation where somebody suddenly collapses, send someone to get an AED or find the closest AED and start doing CPR. 
I think if we could just get people to take action and do something versus doing nothing, right there we would have a humongous impact. We want to save those lives. We celebrate it when we save those lives. Uh, and we make sure that the community is aware of what they can do to help us make it a, a safer place to live. While I couldn't, I couldn't save my husband, um, his life can save other people. Learn CPR, learn how to use an AED. It's simple and easy and cheap because the life you save may be your own.